Hey everyone, my name's Tim, this is the Free Pascal Coder, and we're going to have a little look today at um, books which can help us program in Free Pascal. So, uh, different books for different levels, and um, Pascal as a language, you know, has stayed true to its roots, you know, you've, the structure hasn't changed too much, um, but over the years it has quietly evolved. So if you're new to um, Free Pascal or Lazarus, um, this could be a good um, video for you, or if you're coming back to, um, to Free Pascal after a break, uh, this video could be helpful as well. So first of all, the um, Pascal from its origins, has it changed? Well, the answer is both yes and no. Um, when I was using it, you know, it was procedural. Um, I used to have a DOS, um, we, I used Turbo Pascal actually back in the uh, 80s and 90s um, and the uh, the core of the language you know is still there but the language itself has also grown up um, and it has a lot more features modern features that people may not associate with the language today so we're looking at things like um, advanced records when you've got methods and operators uh, templates or generics. Now you've also got um, exception handling like you might see in C++ and other, or Java. Um, you've got um, interfaces, you know, so they're com style interfaces, runtime type information and a whole bunch of other goodies that um, make Pascal feel less like a relic and more like a hidden gem. So, um, so if you want to start learning how to Pascal, where do you start? So um, I'm going to share some particular books here on the screen. Well, that way, no, that way. Um, to um, that I think can be useful, you know. And each ones have their own, you know, quirks and you know strengths. So um, the first one that you we're looking at is a book called Free Pascal from Square One, and it's by Jeff um, Duntman. Now, if you um, are not familiar with this author, he used to be a contributing author to Dr. Dobbs' journal um, and had a structured programming column. So, um, and when he talks about square one, we are talking about someone who is an absolute beginner and he says so in the text. So, the very beginning, this is a good text for that. So, no experience required. Now it does a good job of laying out what it will cover and what it won't cover. So it, you know it's not going to cover things like object-oriented programming. It's not going to cover GUI development, um, which I appreciate. Don't get me wrong there. The coding style is a little bit odd for me. You know, it does use um, the keywords, reserved words are in uppercase. You know, and the indentation of words like begin end are not um, for me. But you know, they're the quirks. So I'm just. Um, set in my way, you know, maybe. Um, but if you're looking for a beginner-friendly, hands-on guide for Pascal, this is a good one. It will teach you how to program, and we're going to be using Free Pascal in this instance. Now, the um, second text is by the um, authors of the Castle Game Engine, and this one's called Modern Object Pascal Introduction for Programmers. That one is a bit of a mouthful. Um, now you can get it from um, Castle Engine IO, and I will have links, by the way, to all of these books, you know, um, underneath. So, and you can read it or online, or you can, you know, download it, you know, um, and have it in PDF format. Now this particular book will assume that you've done some sort of programming before, whether that's C, Python, Java, or whatever else. Um, it doesn't cover everything. Um, it will provide you with that introduction to the concepts, you know, that you will be familiar with, like the um, exceptions or uh, classes and generics, etc. Um, you, you can see them in the um, in the um, outline here. Um, but it is a good introduction to uh, modern object, to modern, yeah, modern object Pascal. And a um, bit of a bummer, we don't have an index at the back, but you know. It is what it is, um, but it would it's a good recommendation if you've got some programming skill and you want to get into object-oriented programming without being taught how to program. It's also available then in multiple languages. So 
So, now that we've gotten past, let's say, two books that are um, helpful to you, we're going to look at the books you, you know you really, really should have. Um, back in the day when you bought a um, the product called Turbo C or Pascal or whatever it might be, you used to get a set of books with them. Well, um, this is the documentation that came with that um, particular product. So here, the product or the books that come with uh, free Pascal, our user guide, programmers guide, language reference guide, etc. Um, these are books that will, you know, um, while you may not have a physical shelf, you know, should sit on your virtual shelf and will cover anything and everything that you'd need to know about the, the free Pascal language. This doesn't exclude, um, this does to a degree exclude Lazarus, but for everything else, it'd be great for you. Um, very complete, as I said, um, it may not, you know, it's not going to be, the, these are not the sort of books you're going to read from cover to cover, like you might might read your favourite author. Um, but um, if you want to look something up, these books are it, and you can get them in either PDF or HTML format. Um, so then there is that one. Now, the uh, last book that we're going to be looking at here. Um, and I actually may ask you this question now. If you're looking for a good online free resource to, and I'm talking about a book to teach someone how to uh, program in uh, free Pascal, what book would you choose? Doesn't, doesn't have to be any of the ones I've listed here so far. What book would you um, recommend to a, a buddy to learn how to program in free Pascal? So, the last one that we're looking at here is um, by Marco uh, Cantu and it's the Object Pascal Handbook. Um, a lot of the earlier editions, I'm not quite sure if the absolute latest one is free, but you know, many of the, um, this one here is for Delphi 11, which is only just one version behind the um, latest. So um, this one here sets the bar, you know, as far as, you know, what documentation should have. It's got, um, links in there the code is also available on github um, yes it does lean because it does lean towards delphi there may be some little um for lack of a better word idiosyncrasies or um delphi based you know things in there but having there are having said that there are also um pages on websites that will tell you um, we'll explain to you differences between Delphi and uh, last free Pascal so you can uh, check out those pages but um, as far as the concepts and the explanations are concerned um, these are excellent and also are you know relevant or the same as what you'd cover in you know, finding a free Pascal guide when it comes to things like explaining how a function works or I'm talking about a function like I don't know um, string compare for instance and it you know or the anatomy of a unit um, that information you know hasn't changed since you know um, when the concept of a unit was introduced into the language so um, over 500 pages long as well um, so you've got really clear and in-depth um, coverage of object Pascal so um, if you are comfortable with, you know, skipping over those parts which are, let's say, Delphi oriented, this is the uh, a book that you would want to have. Pascal um, might look familiar, but you know, let's um, let's go back over to here. There are a number of books that you can also buy from um, this particular site, Blaze Pascal Magazine .eu. Um, so Pascal may look familiar, but under the hood, it's way more modern than people give it credit for. And with Free Pascal being um, open source and free, therefore, you know, it's easier than ever to get started with. So if you've been um, unsure about how to, you know, start programming in Free Pascal and you want to take that next next step, then these are some of the resources that you can look at, you know, and then you can look at the forums. Um, let me know also in the comments if you've tried out any of these books or if you've got other favorites that you'd recommend as well. Um, and don't forget, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and all of that good stuff. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.